New 2018 Ford Focus, first spy shots of Ford hatch wearing production body. Exclusive images and spy shots preview the new MK4 Ford Focus, which is due in 2018 with engines and tech from Fiesta and Air Power. Ford is gearing up to follow the new 2017 Fiesta with fresh take on its larger family hatchback the Focus and we've got new spy shots of the Volkswagen Golf and Vauxhall Astra rival undergoing testing before it hits showrooms in 2018. Unlike the development mule wearing the current car's bodywork spotted last year, this is our first look at the 2018 Focus in its own skin. Ford isn't prepared to give spy photographers a truly revealing glimpse just yet. The car in our shot still wears a heavy disguise, but we expect the next Focus to usher in an evolved design language, rather than an all-new look. At the front the same style grille remains, while the temporary tail light clusters at the back suggest the same horizontal theme as the new Fiesta is on the way. The current third generation of the Focus has faced ever tougher competition during its lifetime not just from the likes of its age-old rival, the Astra, which has shed weight to rediscover a handling sweetness it has lacked for years but also from the boom of lifestyle vehicles, like baby subs and larger crossovers. The MK3 Focus moved away from the ultra-crisp handling of its predecessors because it was, at least in part, a global model designed and engineered as part of the One Ford program, catering to all needs. The new model previewed in our exclusive images will be sold globally, too, but Ford appears to be prioritizing European tastes in its development. In a key move that shows the importance being placed on the new generation, Darren Palmer has been put in charge of the project. The Briton is rated highly within Ford for his work on the recently revealed MK7 Fiesta and the cheaper, Indian-built car and that sits just below it in the range. Under the skin, the Focus is likely to retain the existing version's global C-car platform. However, Palmer's team will have been given a brief to make sure the setup retains suspension comfort, while rediscovering more of the handling agility that made the MK1 and MK2 cars so popular. Ford is likely to increase its wheelbase very slightly in a bid to improve interior packaging, especially for rear seat occupants. As such, Palmer and his engineers will turn to elements like the power steering setup, the front suspension geometry and tricks like stiffer rear suspension bushes in a bid to increase handling verve. At the same time, expect greater use of high tensile steel in the car's construction, to help it lose a few kilos. Significantly, the focus range will be split into the same differentiators as the new Fiesta lineup. Cheaper additions could be dropped altogether a reflection of the fact that the Fiesta range now extends to higher price points than before. The remaining models will include the sport-focused ST line and the more luxurious vinyl, which also brings perks on the customer service side. There will also be an active version of the car, giving Ford a competitor for the VW Golf Alltrack, and supplementing the EcoSport Baby SUV and Kyoga Family SUV in the brand's lineup. The Focus Active will feature slightly raised ride height and additional body cladding, in the same fashion as the Fiesta. Ford Europe boss Jim Farley told Auto Express, the Fiesta is going to be step one, but I think we'll continue to look at these active additions. Unlike the Fiesta variant, the Focus Active could be offered with four-wheel drive although it will be front-wheel drive by default. Inside, expect the same rationalization of the dashboard layout as we've seen in the new Fiesta, with fewer buttons and many features controlled through an 8-inch touchscreen. This display could well be offered as the minimum on all versions of the car, with some higher-end additions getting an even bigger setup. The engine lineup will be based on Ford's 1.0-liter turbocharged three-cylinder petrol engine the Echo Boost. Expect at least three different power outputs to be offered, starting at 99 bhp and moving up to 123 bhp and 138 bhp. Depending on how successful engineers are with the Focus's diet, it's possible Ford could also offer an entry-level addition with the highest output version of its new three-cylinder non-turbo engine, producing 8.4 bhp. The most popular diesel options will be a 1.5-liter with 8.4 bhp or 1.18 bhp, although Ford is still likely to offer the car with a high-output 2.0-liter.
The new Focus is also all but certain to be one of the 13 electrified cars that Ford CEO and President Mark Fields has promised before the end of the decade. The global C-car platform was engineered with hybrid and pure electric uses in mind, and progress in battery technology could well mean Ford offers both of those solutions, instead of the current car's single EV edition. This would give the Focus range appeal against the latest VW e-Golf and the ever-expanding lineup of hybrid family cars, such as the Hyundai Ioniq and Kia Niro.